You know those girls that always look clean, their skin is always glowing, their lips are always glossed, and they never ever look like they're wearing too much makeup? Hey besties, welcome back to another video. Tamina here and for today this is going to be my clean girl makeup routine video. I'm excited for this one because we all know what happened the last time I tried to make another one. Yeah, that ended terribly. I feel like today I'm more composed, we have more time, it's less chaotic and I'm excited because I actually have the facilities for this. You know, last I don't do tutorials because I don't know how to do much but this is a look I do almost every day and it always takes me about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to be using a mixture of like very affordable drugstore products and like just like one or two like luxury products which means this look very achievable. You can even switch out some things. I'll tell you guys some of the dupes you guys can use. And yeah, I'm excited. The clean girl makeup routine is all about looking like you're not wearing um, makeup. Like people are not supposed to know you're wearing makeup. Like they know, but it also looks like, it's like a debate in their head. Like is she wearing makeup or not? You know, it's just a way like you're going to enhance your natural features at the same time. You're just gonna look like you slept. You're gonna look like you hydrate. Although, let's be hydrating. I'm gonna hydrate a lot in this video just to remind you guys to hydrate because when I see people hydrating then I want to hydrate so yeah reminded to hydrate let's get started I don't want this video to be too long and the first and most important thing about looking like a clean girl is to do your skincare so I just of course cleansed my face I've been using a new cleanser I'm going to make a separate video on skincare and so my face is like freshly cleansed and now we're on to the serum and moisturizer and sunscreen so for my serum I'm going to be using the bio balance super serum I'll put everything I use in the description box down below but let me just show you guys how it looks in case you guys want to get it Okay, so for this one, I just usually shake it and then I use a few drops on my face because vitamin C brightens your skin. And that's literally almost the first step. Like, we're trying to get our skin to look so good that when you put makeup, it's just like, a, wow, now she's she looking like she does her skincare routine and it works. You know, you can do your skincare routine, but it's not working that well. So yeah, I'm just going to put some vitamin C. Got to get it under the eyes, everywhere. And then don't immediately go in with your moisturizer or whatever. You have to let the serum just like sink in, like be zen, like meditate or something. Just relax. Let your serum sink in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second step is definitely moisturizer. I use the simple hydrating light moisturizer because um, I have combination skin, so it could be oily, it also could be dry, but in this weather, I feel like I need um, a more intense moisturizer, but it's for now, this is what I've been using. So I just use like two fingers of this. I'm very generous with my moisturizer because if your skin is not moisturized your makeup is not it's not going to look good at all so yeah just go in with your moisturizer you can already start to see like the glow just of the vitamin c and the moisturizer like your skin is looking healthy okay another reminder to hydrate okay so that's the moisturizer again we're going to take a minute for it to just like sink in because again i see people putting their moisturizer and then directly going in with like primer no let everything be absorbed into the skin like this is all for the skin so give it time don't rush and if you've been having like a cold or a flu you want to like target like your nose area and really moisturize over there because it's going to be really dry and um, yeah Next step, after you've let your moisturizer set in, I'm going to be using this Milk Makeup um, Hydro Grip Primer. I just got it recently, it wasn't even in my routine, but what it does is it really hydrates the skin and it also makes the makeup really grip on the skin, which I've been enjoying because sometimes after I'd go in with my serum and moisturizer because of the cold, my skin would kind of dry out a bit before I put the moisturizer. So the two tips that I started 
like implementing were to first of all let the moisturizer sit into the skin and the second one is that i got a hydrating primer so it doesn't have to be the milk makeup one but i do like that the milk makeup one is both hydrating and it also helps the makeup grip onto your skin so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put i i go in with a lot of this product i don't know if that's advised so i go in on the forehead and then i go in on the under eyes i go in on the cheeks i go in on my chin like like i go in because hydrating and i want the makeup to really like grip onto my skin you know yeah so just like rub that in especially if you've laid your edges you're gonna need some of this for your forehead now i just want you guys to look at my skin no makeup just my skin from what we've done just look at that glow look at this is why the skin is the most important part of the whole um clean girl makeup look because if your skin's not looking right like if you just come from the shower not cleansed nothing and then you come put on your makeup it's not gonna look good it's just not gonna look good but especially for like this makeup look like you need your skin to be shining for the rest of the makeup look to look nice so yeah next step now we're gonna actually start like the makeup now this part is really quick besties i want you guys to be shocked at how quick you can be doing your makeup but still look really really put together so yeah let's start so the first product i'm going to use is the zaron brow bang i'm gonna put everything in the description box as i said and this one is really good because you don't want your eyebrows just looking anyhow okay so even granted my eyebrows are microbladed but even if yours are not microbladed use this fast before you start like filling in your eyebrows because then you can comb them and follow the natural shape of your eyebrows because that's what we're trying to do we're just trying to highlight um, our natural features without making them look exaggerated so these are not like the thick instagram eyebrows they're mostly like feathery light we're just following your natural eyebrow shape and natural eyebrow hair pattern so that it just looks like you just woke up like this but you just combed your eyebrows a little bit you know so i'm gonna dip mine into the gel it's definitely easier when you have microbladed eyebrows i would recommend to everyone because i've been my makeup routine is so lazy because of the little things i've done like microblading my eyebrows so i'm just gonna comb mine because my hairs are wild they just doing anything sometimes so i'm gonna comb them up and then comb them down comb them up and then just like comb them down i'm gonna add a bit more gel so that it just secures the eyebrows in place so that they don't move i also need to shave it shows you where you need to shave like extra overgrown eyebrows and i'm gonna do that so that all my babes who have microbladed eyebrows can see like this is just part of my routine so i'm just going to shave the um the hairs that have overgrown on the bottom and on the bottom over here too And that's it that's it for my eyebrows i'm just gonna comb this one a bit more because i can see it's gonna be crazy and then that's it okay so now that eyebrows are done we're about to go onto the face which is the most exciting part and the part that needs the most technique i'd say so the first thing you need to do is you need to use a beauty blender and then i don't like using brushes anymore because i feel like this gives more of an airbrushed like natural look and then to dampen your beauty blender don't use water instead just use your um setting spray and i use the maybelline new york master fix face studio setting spray and i just spray a bit on my beauty blender like that and then for foundation you you could either use like a skin tint or foundation make sure it's super lightweight it should not be anything that's super like full coverage but at the same time it should not be a foundation that gets cakey throughout the day because i remember i used to use very lightweight foundations but that was really bad because like during the day i'd be looking at my face like oh my god what do i do so you could even use like a 
full coverage foundation but then use like one pump for your whole face and for me i use the fenty beauty pro filter foundation i'm in the shade 400 and i really like it because first of all you feel like you're not really wearing anything on your face and then it's also soft matte so it doesn't completely make me matte i don't like completely matte foundations because i just tend to look dry and i like to look a bit glowy like this whole look is about looking glowy hydrated you know you're just supposed to look so put together and like you really just walk like got up did your skincare routine and walked out the house so i've already put one pump on my palm and i put it straight on the beauty blender i don't put it on my skin straight because i want a bit to be absorbed so that what goes on the skin looks very skin like so i'm gonna start with i always start with my eye because my eye always has like eye bags or eye discoloration of some sort so i start with my eye And I use the super pointy part and then I just go on and just blend. I want you to see what that little foundation I just put has just done. Look how it's making me so airbrushed. Sorry, let me put my hair back. Okay, so we're gonna take the same just a bit and do the same on the other side you can add as you go but just basically make sure you're blending it out really well as you go you could also focus on the main areas of discoloration like for me i usually have some discoloration around here i have some discoloration around my chin at the corners of my eye so i just like focus on that and just please make sure the foundation is your shade as well i feel like don't use a lighter shade please and when you put like the setting spray on the beauty blender so it's like when you blend your foundation you're also setting it which is great so it means like the next layer you put on if you're putting on another layer just looks so airbrushed so basically one pump is all you need as you can see i'm gonna leave it like that because it's also really like filled in the eye bags that i have it's gotten rid of most of the discoloration so that's exactly what we're going for so now i'm just gonna just blend it a bit more and then we're gonna go into the concealer okay so this is the foundation base it still looks very glowy it looks very skin like so that's what that's literally what we're aiming for and now next we're going to use concealer but now the concealer should not be lighter than your skin tone it should be like as close as you can get it to your skin tone this one is just kind of lighter than my skin tone but it's very close to my skin tone because what you want to do you still want to lift like your eyes and everything but you don't want to make it look like you've actually done concealer you know what i mean so what i do with concealer i use the maybelline one i put like over there because you know again eye bags and the lines on my eye so over there and then to lift my eyes to make me look a bit more snatched I just do like three dots over here and then I do three dots over here heading towards my eyebrows I want it to lift like this so heading it ends towards the tail of my eyebrow and this one also ends towards the tail of my eyebrow and that's how i do it now the funny thing is if you want your concealer to like give you coverage i realize like blending it immediately is not going to give you as much coverage so i let it sit for a while and remember i said i also usually have some discoloration on my chin and you can see it's not completely gone just because of the foundation so i'm gonna put a bit on my chin as well not too much also i have some discoloration over here and over here so i'm just gonna put a bit over there as well and over there so for here we can start blending immediately remember if you're gonna dampen your beauty blender just use setting spray and here we're gonna blend immediately because we're not looking for much coverage while over here we're looking for coverage so just blend slowly also with little motions 
tiny little blending motions. Don't go in heavy handed. Just gentle. And that's it. So we're gonna let this sit for around maybe two minutes. And then if you want to refresh your concealer when you want to blend, we're gonna spray some setting spray and then just go in and blend. So I'm gonna see you guys after two minutes. That's why this makeup routine takes a lot of relaxation, meditation, FaceTime someone, because a lot of steps are gonna be just like chill. Just relax. Okay, so two minutes are over. So I'm gonna spray some setting spray just on my face. And then we're gonna go in and now blend because you've reactivated the formula again a very gentle motions we're not trying to get rid of the concealer and then don't blend and like bring it out so for each just blend on the spot we're trying to keep the coverage on that spot so blend on the spot don't take the product from this side and bring it to this side just blend on the spot See? So just keep doing that very gentle motions. Use the sharp part of your beauty blender. Okay, I'm just gonna go do the same thing on the other eye. Gentle motions and not moving the product. Okay, so here's the look now with foundation and concealer only using a beauty blender. And that's it. So now of course we have to set this because your concealer is going to crease if you don't set it and I think that's something we need to remember because as much as we're trying to look glowy we're not trying to have creasing makeup so we're gonna have to set under under eyes and I use the LA Girl Pro Powder high definition powder it's it's like yellow it's yellow powder and what I do is I take it again on the beauty blender bro if you only have a beauty blender like you're so good you could use your fingers for this too but i just find like the beauty blender does better because it's just more precise so we take just a bit of powder just a bit get rid of the excess and then bring it just under the eye like like that next and then we're not trying to to like bake we're trying to let it absorb into the skin okay i don't ever swipe away my powder i just put it that's why you need to use little and get rid of the excess so that it doesn't stay like we're not trying to bake we're trying to have the powder become part of the skin we're trying to make the powder and the skin be one okay and that's it set everywhere you've put concealer because it is going to crease like it's definitely going to crease okay so that's it for powder as well and i already like the look so far so now what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in um some compact powder and then we're also gonna bring in some of the glow because we're also our face is looking very empty so we need to bring in some warmth over here some warmth over here some warmth on the forehead and yeah okay so now i've taken off my laying scarf I, in kiswahili we call it kitamba and i can't find another way to refer to it so after i've taken off my scarf you can see my edges are laid and everything i'm going to take some compact powder i use the maybelline one and i use it in the shade 65 coconut which is like close to my shade but just a bit darker because we're not trying to contour we're just trying to add some warmth so i'm just gonna add some warmth to like my forehead over here i'm gonna add some warmth to my cheeks just where you would contour you put this powder to just add some warmth because right now our face is not looking warm you know what i mean you see what that does it's added like our face is now balanced it looks more natural than how it looked like a few minutes ago and now we're done with that we're just gonna start adding blush so for blush i use lipstick which is so funny because i've tried other blushes i want to try the fenty ones but i haven't tried them yet and i keep coming back to this because it's cream and i feel like 
cream is so much better than powder when you're trying to make it look natural so i use this lipstick from miniso it is called the color stay lipstick i don't even know where i got it it's in the shade four pink and i usually take this brush and just like dab and then go on i smile and then i go on the, my cheeks like that and I take it all the way up to like lift my face and sometimes I go in with the beauty blender to just like make it look more natural I like to have some on my nose just looks it looks so cute and that's basically it and now we add the glow now the secret I discovered to adding a natural glow is again cream products and so I have the Fenty Beauty matte stick but in the shade Yacht Life and the thing is it's pink it's pink like my blush but kind of lighter but what happens when you put it on the skin it looks very very glowy it doesn't come off pink it comes off with like a very slight tinge of pink but it's mostly just glowy so just watch what it does do you see that so I use it in the same like way I would use blush but also in the same way I would use highlight see that bridge of the nose it's so glowy I use it on my eyebrows as well I use some on my actual like inside my eye and that's that's basically it this is how the face is looking it's very glowy it's very slight doesn't take much remember to set again but another trick I have when you're done is to spray some setting spray on the beauty blender again and then now just like go over your makeup slightly so everything you've just done you're gonna set it in with your beauty blender like that i add a little mascara i basically have lashes but they're at their deathbed so i'm gonna add a bit just to comb them not really to even add the mascara but just like to comb my remaining lashes this is a spritz bottle from spritz which is shilandinda's brand and it sprays so nicely i really like it i'm gonna add a bit of mousse Okay, so here's the final look, basically very glowy, um, very warm looking, very natural. Looks like I just maybe have blush on. And then now we're gonna do lips. I usually use this pomade, which I got from town. I'm not sure from where. And then I put that with like a brush. I put that with this tiny little brush. So I dip into the pomade and then I just follow my natural lip line. It's like brown. So if you have a brown, lip liner it's the same thing then you just need to like dab on it so that it looks natural so like just take your finger and then just dab on it so that it's not too harsh and then i'm going to use this abracadabra gloss which is like magical gloss it looks clear but on your lips it dries like a nice pink and i really like it and that's the final look guys